Today is July 21st. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fuel Fishing Channel. Today is July 21st, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 113 of this year. And today, folks, it is easily one of the hottest days of this year. Right now, it is 95 degrees Fahrenheit, but I heard that later this afternoon, the heat index, right, meaning the weather plus the humidity, is going to be in the range of 110 to 115 Fahrenheit. That is like 42 to 46 degrees Celsius, right? So it is one of those days that is going to be like 97 Fahrenheit, but feels like 110 kind of thing. I brought with me a lot of coconut juice in my bag and uh, the main objective of the day is for us to just wade and fish this very clear water creek. Uh, I'm not going to complain too much today, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever comes up, comes up. I'm going to be using different types of lures, wading the creek up and down. So you know what? Let me get my ultra light set up, all set up here and let's go chase some fish. Are you guys ready? Well, right now I'm full of energy, right? But who knows what is going to happen later in the day. So stay tuned. Boy, today is real, real rough. So I'm actually quite glad that this place right here got a little bit of shade because man, let me tell you, 110 to 115 Fahrenheit heat index is definitely no joke, right? So, oh my goodness, this actually, feels good it feels real real good okay now that i found a little shaded spot let's get the fishing started oh yeah Ugh. careful now careful oh yeah let me tell you folks a day like this with a heat index 110 115 nothing beats waiting because the air temperature is hotter than the water temperature, the water cools you down. And look how clear this water is, huh? So I'm going to get started with just a tiny little trout magnet. I'm going to be using different lures in this video today. I'm going full pink at the moment. Man, on a hot day like this, I'm not gonna complain about a species. I have forgotten about the American pickerel already. All I want is to catch some fish Whew, hot day like this man i will go for anything that bites oh there's one fish on first cast first cast what we got dang dude nailed it Whoo, dude it's a beautiful pumpkin seed wait no this is not just a pumpkin seed this is a pumpkin seed green sunfish hybrid isn't it actually it, no wait wait what is this yeah oh wait what but the mouth is so big yeah you know what i think this is a pumpkin seed green sunfish hybrid but if you guys think otherwise please correct me in the comment section below okay first fish of the day is already a pretty weird fish it kind of caught me off guard because when you have a green sunfish hybrid with something else Usually the anal fin, the cow that on the soft dorsal that have shades of white, yellow, and orange, right? This one has just one tiny little bit, so it caught me off guard. But it has to be a hybrid of something with green sunfish, because look at the size of that mouth, right? And I'm really thinking pumpkin seed because of the strong red dot on the side, right? With green sunfish. So, I mean, you can't really call this a first species of the day because hybrids are technically not a species. I'm just gonna release it over here for you guys. Wow, look what a beautiful release, huh? Because this, this creek, man, is clear, son. Cast right against that wall, dude. I see a bunch of fish right next to that wall. There's another one. Second fish coming up here. Dang, man, there's another pinfish. Oh, look, look, there's another pinfish following it. You see that? The water's so clear, you can actually see it. 
Wow. Okay, anyway, second species of the day turns out to just be your typical Lepomis macrocytus. Dude, fat one too, all right? Look at look the gut on this dude. Whatever it's been eating, it's been eating good down here. Now we can say, oh, easy. Now we can say that we have caught our first species of the day. Beautiful bluegill over here. Holy man. Macaroni. All right, we got the species started, man. It's time to slay them. Oh, there's one. Dude, fishing here is almost like cheating for real, you know? Because it's like one cast of fish and one cast. One different species, look at that. This is species number two of today. I legit gave three casts and I had three fish. No joke. This one here is not a hybrid. It is your traditional Lepomis cyanellus, AKA the green sunfish. Beautiful one too, pretty big. Thanks, son. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it for a hot day like this. Fishing is actually going quite well out here. And holy cow, this green sunfish got hooked real good, man. Trout magnet never disappoints. This green sunfish was not going anywhere, man. All right. Oh, oh easy. It's going right there under the rock, seeking shelter like they always do. And there's one right in front of me here just staring at me. You want it that bad? Here, I give it to you. It was just staring at me, like right in front of me, right over here, you know? What we got? Dude, it's another species. I, I can't believe it. It was like right here. Wow, we are catching all the panfish on the trout magnet today. This one is a pumpkin seed, the Lepomis gibosus. Not a hybrid. You know that by looking at the uniform dark bars on the operculum, right? The little red dot with white on the opercular flap. And then you got the patterns here on the side, right? A beautiful sample, as a matter of fact. Let me see. So far, we got bluegill, green sunfish, and now pumpkin seed, right? So we are actually one species away from having a Philadelphia panfish superfecta. Ain't that amazing? We only need a red breast sunfish to complete our little sunfish superfecta. Dang, dude, Big, bigger one got it this time. What is it? Is it a, just a bluegill? Oh, oh, it's a, na oh, okay. It's a nasty bluegill, bro. Oh, I, I, I'm not so sure I wanna touch this one. Holy moly, yo, what has happened to this bluegill here? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. The operculum has completely rotten it on this side. You guys see that? Ugh. Oh man, that's okay. That's disgusting, bro. And what happened to the other side here? Yeah, it's got some injuries on that side. Listen, Bluegill, I love you, my man, but you know, ah, dang, dude. Whew. You got some uh, nasty stuff going on with you right over there. Woo. Ugh, ugh, oh, let me let me wash this real quick, man. Whoosh. You know the trout. The trout magnet has been treating me good. Don't take me wrong. I love this little fella. Catches me a lot of fish. But all that we have caught some so far is some fish. So I think it is about time for me to put something a little bit different and kind of try my luck to see if some uh, some other species of fish will show up in this video. Uh, either the Johnson or the EP series. Oh, I don't know, folks. I've been casting the EP series here for actually quite a while. And I did see one little largemouth bass follow it. And other than that, all oh, some fish, some fish after some fish after some fish. So it may be time for me to actually get out of here and really just uh, 
either go a little bit upstream or downstream and see if there are some different species because you know I don't want this to turn out to be just a some fish video right although I am enjoying myself <laughs> out here so yeah you know what let's make a move And now this looks like a nice place. Let me tell you all something. Something is not right here. I was looking down there and I saw something swimming around. Something quite decent in the range of maybe 20 to 24 inches. But I kept throwing the EP series and it just wouldn't hit it. So I just switched back to the trout magnet. And the thing is, a few years ago, I did catch a northern snakehead, the Chana Argus, in this little creek. So I'm really wondering, what was that? It kind of looked like a channel catfish, the Ictalurus punctatus. I don't see it anymore, but I am going to give a few casts over here for sure. There's one. What we got here? Is this the fish that is going to complete our superfecta today? Oh, hell yeah. I may not have caught our mystery fish yet, but this right here, my friends, is a little red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auritus, and this actually completes in this video our panfish superfecta, right? We have caught all the different four species, most common four species of sunfish here around Philadelphia. Let me release this guy over here real quickly, and I think it is about time for me to put my polarized glasses on, my Oakley, and really take a look down there to try to locate and catch our mystery fish, man. That is like the mystery, that are like the biggest fish of this hole, hands down. Sun. That was the jump, huh, little red breast? Oh, sunfish, though. Hmm. Very mysterious. Oh, sunfish. Oh, man, I don't know if I should cry or if I should be happy. Happy that I'm catching fish on a day that is hot like this. Or sad because I don't see a single bass and the mystery fish is nowhere to be found. Oh my goodness, dude, that's a, that's a big fish. What is that? Is that a channel catfish? Ooh! There's something here. Not only there's something here, bro. I got something. What did I get? Oh, that's a bass, dude. That's the, my first bass of the day on the trout magnet, finally. Finally something, come over here. Dang, bro. Dang, bro. Finally paying off, huh? Finally paying off. Come over here. Oh, yes, yeah, son. That's what I'm talking about. No longer only some fish, but finally a different species of fish shows up in this video, huh? It may be a mango largemouth bass, <laughs> but is it still a fish? Oh boy! <laughs> Bro, if you thought that bluegill that we caught earlier was mangled, damn, bro, this bass is pretty darn mangled too. Man, but I'm so glad that this little fella showed up. You guys have no idea. So just go ahead, man. And go tell your friends the tale, the day, whew, that you actually met the Asian alien, huh? <sighs> oh, I see. So that's how it is.
Oh, we got something. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Dang, nice, dude. It's a smolly. Check that out. Yo, this is paying off. The, ad <laughs> the adventure today is now paying off. But I don't know why. All the fish over here has these sores on them that gets me a little bit concerned. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh, we got off. Dang, but this is molly, which is right over there. I also had a little sore on its face. So, I mean, I don't know. This gets me a little bit concerned about this fish. Because, you know, now we had a bluegill, a largemouth bass, and a smolly, all with sores on them, right? You guys see the smolly is just chilling down here in the water. I'm going to put the trout magnet right in front of its face so you guys can see the sore. It may have gotten away, but see, right here, right? The smolly is just chilling right next to this rock right here. I got the trout magnet right in front of its face. It's not eating, of course, because I just it just got released. Maybe it's gonna eat out of anger. I don't know. I've been fishing out here for about four hours now. It is almost 4 p.m. I don't know how well you guys can see, but check it out. Uh, it is 99 degrees Fahrenheit, dude. And I'm pretty sure the heat index right now is like 110, 115, because I'm getting toasted out here, so I think it is about time for me to call it a day. Holy cow, people. It is currently 4.20 p.m. And I kid you not, it is like 99 degrees Fahrenheit right now. The heat index out there, easily 110 Fahrenheit, man. I'm talking like 42 degrees Celsius. So you know what? I'm not going to complain too much in today's outro. I'm actually quite happy that I was able to land five different species of fish today in the little clear creek, right? And not get my butt roasted into barbecue. Because I'm telling you, man, the situation is brutal out here. For you guys to have an idea, this is easily, I think this is the hottest day of the entire year of 2019 so far, right? So summarizing, it was a good day at the creek. Uh, I actually found out what the mystery fish was. I went back to that pool of water and it was a big channel catfish, the Ictalurus punctatus. So there is that, right? I, I mean, this is one of those videos, right? That is just like, it really pays off, right? When you go out there and explore and you just cast around. At the beginning, we caught all some fish. And you know, I was getting a little bummed out, right? But I didn't give up. So at the end of the video, as you guys saw, landed a large mouth bass, right? And even lost a little smolly. The one thing that got me a little bit concerned though about today's fishing session is that the watershed that I fished is actually connected to the Delaware River, right? And uh, some of the fish that I caught today, they had these, I don't even know what they were, like lesions you could call, right? On them. And it wasn't just one, right? two of them in bass and one on the sunfish so i am a little bit concerned about that i'm going to do some research to see if this is happening around the area i don't want the delaware river to turn out into the new susquehanna river you see what i'm saying but this is it for today thank you very much for watching folks tight lines i will see you guys next time